it's your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic, the Michael Jordan, the gaming, back with another Call of Duty commentary. And I, I've been saying it. I've been saying it, man. <laughs> if y'all haven't heard by now, I've been saying it for the longest. And uh, I hope all the people who doubted me on my videos that I put out a long time ago, saying that back, that Treyarch were the innovators of Activision. And I got all that hate saying I don't know what I'm talking about and all that stuff, man. I hope y'all see this video and y'all heard about it because Treyarch announced that they're using a new engine for the next Treyarch title that comes out under the Call of Duty name. We don't know if it's Black Ops 2 or it might be called something totally different, but they said that they're going to use a new engine, which I, I got word that it was the Unreal 3 engine that they're going to be using for their new title. Which means that once again, like I've been saying in the past, Treyarch are the innovators on the Activision Call of Duty um, Call of Duty team. So man, I can't wait, man. I can't wait to see some footage of the game. Um, they already got me hyped already. Now Modern Warfare 3, I wasn't hyped. <laughs> but right now, I'm hyped. You know, I can't wait to see you know some video footage and gameplay of uh, the next title, man. So uh, the month of when, when will they probably show a gameplay? In the month of July. Can't get here any sooner, because that's what I'm thinking they're going to show the first uh, gameplay video. But, um, yeah, man, once again, I mean, they've already announced other things before. I can't remember what it was, though. I said it in one of my older videos. I said something about a playlist that um, a dude asked the guy in the forums, whatever the lead designer or whatever the guy's name is. Um, they asked him about, you know, something that they could put in the game. And he said, yeah, we're going to make a playlist specifically for that. So they're listening to the community. Um, Modern Warfare 3, not so much. I still don't know what these updates they've been doing. I don't know what they are. First of all, every update they put out is 5 megabytes. I'm pretty sure it shouldn't be 5 megabytes every time. <laughs> and it doesn't ever, it never seems like they fix anything. I think the only thing I noticed that they fixed were theater mode. Other than that, the game um, plays exactly the same. Um, the spawns are still horrible. The hit detection is still horrible. Um, well, Blackout's hit detection is horrible too. But they're about on the same level. With Modern Warfare 3, I think, has the edge on a uh, crappy hit detection. And yes, I did say crappy. It's Sunday, so you know what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, man. Once again, man, they're innovating the game. It's going to be nice. I can't wait to see it. They said it's going to feel totally different from any Call of Duty you've ever played recently. Um, which is good because I've, I've, I've been tired of these uh, the engine they've been running on. Um. I didn't like the engine since Call of Duty 4. I didn't like Call of Duty 4. I know a lot of people are going to be like, what, you don't like Call of Duty 4? No, nah, I didn't like Call of Duty 4. Um, that that game let me know that the game was going to be uh, going downhill from there. And I was pretty much right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I didn't like Call of Duty 4, man. I didn't like that arcade feel. And, and it just didn't need any skill to play the game. And it got worse. You know, every other title came out after it, it just got worse. So... I was basically kind of correct on that assumption, but um, yeah, man. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna move on to the other topic. I'm tired of talking about that new engine, even though it's nice. Um, like I said, I'm still excited about it. You guys should look it up on Google, read up about it, go to the go to their forums and things like that. You know, just educate yourself on it a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I, I just can't wait for that. But anyway, moving on, I want to talk about some things I want to see in the next uh, Black Ops title. Um. First of all, um, I would like some of these animations. You, you guys see these death animations that, that have been in Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops, and all the other ones. Like Some of these animations just look ridiculous. How about we get something that looks a little bit more realistic, like Battlefield? Not guys hitting corkscrews when they get shot or hit by an explosion. Or those weird, them weird animations. Like You see the guys' arms fold inside each other after they go into the right door. It just looks ugly. Um... Watch this part right here. I, I got so mad. <laughs> Cause I'm like, okay, I know they're not spawning around me. Because I don't know anyone there. So I kill him. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna run out this door. Then I get shot in the back. I'm like, what? How did he get there? And he ends up killing me. Dog, I got so mad after that. Cause I was definitely about to get my dogs. I was like, I was about to rage quit, but I was like, nah, bump it. I ain't gonna do it. I'm just gonna stay in here. I still got another chance. Um, but anyway. Yeah, man, I, I would like to see some better animations in the game. Also, <clears throat> Wow, camping. Also, um, I would like to see, I like to see a bit 
a bit more gun physics to the guns, man. Like, a bit more recoil. Um, you can't, I don't want to see, like, you shouldn't be able to hold down a gun and spray like that. Like, take Battlefield, for example. Well, you can, you can a little bit on Battlefield, but you have to really control that, that mouse because it recoils a lot. But I'm playing it on a computer, so I wouldn't, I can't really compare to what I'm playing on the console, you feel me? Um, now, I was going to speed through this chopper gunner right here, just to shorten the video because it's about 9 or 10 minutes, but... You know, through the uh, magic of Sony Vegas, I was going to shorten it, but I was like, you know what? I got a lot to talk about, um, so I think I'll just let it go. I mean, seven to six minutes isn't going to be enough for me to talk about the stuff I'm going to talk about, so I was like, you know what? Whatever, I'm just going to go ahead and let it play out. No speeding up. If you don't want to hear the whole thing, just skip ahead, you know. It doesn't bother me at all, as long as you get most of what I'm talking about. But uh, anyway, also I want to see some stuff like... Uh, I think I'm about to be interrupted by my older brother because I just heard him come in and he doesn't know I'm recording, so he's definitely going to come inside the room. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I want to see, I would like to see the hit detection be a lot better in the game, definitely, because yeah, it's been driving me crazy. Hey, don't, hey, hey, don't come in here, I'm recording, yo. So, uh, <laughs> well, yeah, so, um. What else I want? I want in the game. Oh, you know when I was talking about the hitbox man on the on the Call of Duty series in the past, I definitely would like to see a change to that man. Like, look, if I'm shooting somebody in the leg, I definitely want you know I want less damage from shooting them in the leg than me shooting them in the chest. And give me a reason to aim for the chest and the head, man. Like the headshot should be a headshot. It should be an instant kill no matter what. It's, I shouldn't have to shoot somebody two times or three times in the head, especially with a pistol though. It's just one shot. That's all it needs. So um, I definitely want to see that again, especially with a sniper rifle. Man, there's been times I shot people in the head with a sniper rifle, and they just kept running. And just, I'm like, wow, really? So man, they definitely need to fix that in the next title. I hope the engine fixes that. So um, that's the main. That one is a big one for me. If they if they do that, the headshots. I don't know why he started shooting up there. Like he just really exposed his whole his whole um location just doing that. If you're gonna get on somewhere and camp like that, you need to uh have a silencer. Now, you notice I have a Blackbird from my last time I'm getting it right and I haven't used it. You'll find out why. I decided to hold on to it, get a couple kills, and then throw it up. So that way I get closer to my um my next Blackbird. I shouldn't have to tell you guys that. I mean, you guys don't need any Black, uh, any black Ops tips. I mean, the game has been out for a while, but just in case you, some noobs catch it, I don't know. So, um yeah, just held on to it until I could uh, get closer to my next Blackbird and then everything like that. That's what you want to do if you end up dying before you... um get to use your uh, dogs or anything like that but um yeah that whole box hit box thing man like that definitely needs to be fixed and um I think that's about it all the things I want in the next title so now we're gonna move on to the next topic a lot of people have been talking about respawn entertainment which you guys know are the guys who they're basically the main guys who started infinity war that got kicked out and now they're back with EA um a lot of people are wondering what title they're gonna come out with um me, I think they're going to come out with a, uh, another Medal, uh, Medal of Honor. If you guys don't know the past, uh, the, the original Infinity War team, they came from working on Medal of Honor, um, what was it, Medal of Honor something Assault, something like that. One of those games. Um, Airborne Assault, I don't know, something, one of them. And so they basically came from the, the Medal of Honor series. So since they're back with EA, I'm pretty sure they're going to hop on, you know, Medal of Honor. Since that game is closer to like Call of Duty anyway. So that's gonna be the new title. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like way better than the last one because they're gonna be on a hopefully they don't make it too much like this game because that'll just ruin it. So I hope they use a the frostbite and just utilize it to its full capabilities. And um yeah, they're probably gonna give Call of Duty a run for their money. People are afraid the Call of Duty series is gonna die. In my opinion, I think Call of Duty died since uh COD four, so um I'm not really worried about that. But anyway, this is your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic. If you like the commentary, hit the like button. Also, subscribe. But I'm out of be gone. Bye!